31 day music lounge makeover challenge is complete and I'm ready to give you a tour of the new space. I recently converted my boring old dining room into a comfy music lounge to listen to records and my budget was only $200. My name is Sarah and I'm always on the hunt for the latest vintage finds to style my home. Subscribe to be friends and to see more videos like this. As I just mentioned, my total budget for this challenge was $200, which is not a lot of money for a makeover. Luckily, I recently sold my old dining room chairs and that upped my total budget to $410. If you are new to this channel, I've linked all the prior videos in the series down below so you can catch up on everything. Whew, I'm happy to say that I stayed fairly close to my budget. Sadly, I did go over just a little, a little bit. In total, everything cost me $470, but I think it was worth it. And now I'm ready to give you a tour of the new space. If you're caught up with all the videos in this series, then you know all about these comfy lounge chairs. Well, I found these lounge chairs on Facebook Marketplace for $40 a piece and it cost me $45 for new supplies to make new cushion covers for these chairs, which I did myself. It was a challenging DIY project to make these, as you probably know, but I'm so glad I did it because I saved a lot of money that way. To these chairs, I added matching throw pillows that I had to buy new. I just wasn't able to thrift the right pillows or fabric to make pillows, within the short amount of time that I had. So I got these from Target, but I think they work well with the chairs. Now in one of the chairs, you probably noticed this fabric that was draped over it. Well, I had this fabric that I had found on eBay. It's called Hamung fabric. It's from Thailand. It's like a hand woven, hand dyed scrap of fabric that just has a really beautiful pattern to it. And for the fun of it, I kind of just draped it over the chair to see how it would look and ended up liking it there. Now, I just didn't have enough time to buy another scrap of it to put on the other chair, but I will be doing that after this challenge ends once I find the right one to match. The vintage side table in between the two lounge chairs was a $15 score from a local antique shop. I styled it with a plant that I had to buy new and a pot I already owned. On the wall, I hung a really large vintage painting that I found on Let Go for $35. I love this painting so much because it is huge and the colors are just great. Speaking of colors, you probably noticed that I didn't end up using the large Persian rug that I had found a few videos back. I think sadly, like it just didn't work with the chairs and the painting. It just made the room look really dark. So I ended up putting back the old rug that was in here but to change it up, I layered a smaller jute rug on top and I think together they work really well. I did see a picture on Instagram of a similar combination and I figured since I already had them, I might as well try it. So I think the moral of this story is when in doubt, just work with what you already have. Our African milk tree hasn't moved at all and that's for a reason it's too big and prickly to put anywhere else. But as far as our vintage wall unit, that probably looks different. It's a modular piece that can be put together many different ways. So we decided to make it a little bit smaller. And I think after doing that, it looks a lot bigger in here. When styling the shelves, I wanted to bring out some of the colors in the painting. So I added splashes of orange, red, and blue around the shelves. As far as the objects go, some of the stuff I already owned, like the record player, speaker, and books, but all the other things I found at antique stores for under $5 a piece each. Now, remember that fabric store where I bought the fabric for my lounge chairs? Well, I went a little bit tassel crazy because they had all these tassels and I bought a few of them to repurpose. And I think they're a little fun addition to the shelves. Depending on where you live, antique shops and flea markets are a great place to find little objects for not a lot of money to style your shelves. To get the best deals, look for the booths that have an eclectic mix of stuff. Because if you see a booth that has curated items, then most likely they know what they have and they're going to be priced a lot higher. 
last but not least, I threw in some plants on the shelves. One of my newest favorite plants is called the lipstick vine, and that's definitely one of the things that broke the budget for this challenge, but it's just a beautiful plant and I really love it. Now this hasn't always been the case in the past, but now when I bring home a plant, I wanna make sure it has a spot in my home and a purpose. For example, this lipstick vine helps to break up the space below the shelf and trails your eye to the records. And the more it grows, the more it will achieve its purpose. So now for another plant that's in here. My Swiss cheese plant is behind me. I placed it in the corner and it is on a vintage rattan stool that I found during one of my antique shopping trips. Next to the stool is a basket I thrifted and repurposed to display some records. As far as the rest of our records go, they're in storage in the wall unit in the cabinet here. And one of you was so kind to tell me in my comments that it is really bad to place records one on top of each other. It could damage them. So luckily we placed them in the cabinet, cabinets vertically so they won't be damaged anymore. Also behind me is my vintage floor lamp that I found during my last Come Shopping With Me video. You can see it got a little bit of a makeover, a new shade. I stole that shade from another lamp that I have that I just didn't use anymore. And when I brought this lamp home after that video, by the way, I noticed there was a sticker on it that said Marshall Studios. And I am a sucker for mid-century designer furniture and accessories, so this was definitely a major thrift score. And last but not least, I added some curtains to this space. We get a lot of bright light and sun that comes in here in the summer, so I think this should help a lot, and it just makes it look a lot better in here. The curtain rod is a West Elm style rod that I got off of Amazon and it saved us a lot of money. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to thrift curtains, so I had to buy them from Target. But luckily, I just happened to save my Target gift card that I got during the holidays as a gift and it helped me a lot and I saved some money there. Feel free to comment below and let me know if you tried this challenge and how it worked out for you. I wanna know all the juicy details. And feel free to tag me on Instagram at Sarah Nealon with all your reveal pictures. I love hearing from you, my friends. Also, let me know what space in my home you would love me to make over or update next. I'm thinking my entryway or my kitchen nook like dining area. It, it all needs a little bit of updating, so feel free to let me know which one you'd like to see next. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, makeover challenge. Again, my name is Sarah and I make videos every Friday. I will see you all soon. Bye!